Hey guys, it's me. It's Queen Osset Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to someone else who may like it as well. Also, if you have time, please drop us a comment in the comment section. So, Today I wanted to talk to you about something that won't take me very long to talk about. It's a very, it's, it's a very interesting um, question, but it's not a difficult one to answer. A young lady said to me, do I find air signs to be cold? The air signs are Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Now, these three signs are often accused of being cold, um, they're accused of being kind of detached and kind of flighty sometimes. And this is all because of the air element. The air element, which by the way, if you're a tarot reader, um, corresponds with the swords. So if you're dealing with the air element, you're dealing with a person who has a natural inclination towards logic, towards reason scientific kind of stuff might even interest them not all of it like you know biology and chemistry kind of interests me but quantum physics really interests me you know so it just depends you know those kind of things can be interesting to us now air also does have a flighty nature you know clouds airy things you know could have a flighty nature um, so you get intellect, flightiness, that kind of thing from the air sign, but not necessarily a coldness. I think that some people do read it that way though, because a lot of people say to me that they find air signs to be cold. And I think it's because of this. I think that number one, I think some other signs have more emotional intelligence. Number one. Number two, I think this happens because air signs come at things from a logical reasoning standpoint. And I think that at that moment, sometimes that's not what the person wants. Like, for example, if somebody comes to me and is talking about something awful that happened to them, nine times out of 10, the first thing that's going to come to my mind are solutions. What can this person do? about this awful, terrible thing that has happened. That's the first thing that's gonna to come to my mind. What can we do? I'm a solution-oriented kind of person. And many air signs are like that. But the person coming to me may not have come to me for a solution. And I had to learn that over the years of you know talking to clients and talking to friends and talking to family. Everybody doesn't want a solution. Some people come because they want you to listen. They want you to empathize with them. They want you to connect with them. And as an air sign, we don't always get that. Sometimes a person will come to us. Most times a person will come to us. And the first thing we think of is how to fix it. A solution to the problem. What to logically do about it. Those are the kind of things that come to our mind. And we don't remember always that that might not be what the person wants. Sometimes, like I said, a person comes to you because they want more of an emotional connection. So I think that's why a lot of people accuse air signs of being cold because we come at things from that place. Some of you may remember there used to be a, um, a uh, android on Star Trek, the next generation. His name was Lieutenant Data. Before Data was Spock. And they both had the same thing, a lack of emotion. Spock had emotion, but he was very, he was Vulcan. So his emotion was very controlled. To me, it looked very Aquarius. <laughs> I would have thought Spock was Aquarius. Then Data was an android. So he wasn't human, so he didn't have any emotions. And he was always trying to understand them. And it's funny to me because his behavior reminds me a lot of Aquarius 
the ones who don't understand emotion act just like looks in the data. So when it comes to air signs, no, we're not cold. No, we're not callous. But the way that our mind works doesn't always compute at that moment what the other person wants. So we do have the tendency to offer them some logical suggestions or some reason to what is going on or how to fix something that's going on. So because we are smart, many of us do figure that out though, you know, through dealing with people, many of us do figure that out and some of us never will. But the bottom line is, is that it's not from a, a space of callousness or coldness, unless you're dealing with just, you know, a dark person. If you're dealing with a dark Gemini or a dark Aquarius or a dark Libra, you know, um, somebody who's low vibrational, for example, if you're dealing with a person from that space of any sun sign, they're going to be cold and callous because they a, a dark person. And when I say dark, I mean low vibrational. A low vibrational person does not care about you. They barely care about themselves half of the time. So if you're coming to a low vibrational person expecting sympathy, expecting empathy, expecting anything that doesn't have to do with them, anything that's not going to benefit them, remember low vibrational people are selfish. So it's a me, 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 me mentality. A lot of times they can't see no further than their nose. So if you're coming to them expecting them to give you any kind of emotional connection, that's your first mistake is expecting it because you're not going to get it. But if you're dealing with a regular, you know, a regular higher vibrational being that just so happens to be an air sign, more than likely it's not that they don't care, it's that they're trying to give you a logical, helpful, productive solution to what is going on. And maybe at that moment, that's not what you want. So I'm going to tell you guys something. If you are coming to an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra, and what you want is empathy, what you want is emotional connection, tell them what you want up front. Call them up and say, listen, I had a bad situation pop off and all I want is somebody to listen. Tell them, I, all I want is somebody to hear me. All I want is somebody to empathize with me. I don't need a solution. I might want that in a few days, but today all I want is you to listen. Tell them. And if they care about you, they'll do it. And if they don't care about you, you shouldn't be calling them in the first place. Call somebody who cares about you. Okay? So my thing is, ask for what you want in your relationships. A lot of people come to me because they're not getting what they want. And nine times out of ten, the first question I ask them is, did you tell the other person? And you wouldn't believe how many times the answer is no. They just expect the other person to give them what they want. They think, some people think that if they give another person what they need or what they think they need, that the other person will in return give them what they need. But it doesn't work that way because a lot of times the person doesn't know what you need. You have to let them know. And then many of them, if they care about you, like I said before, will do it. But if you don't let them know, you can't just expect people to know what it is that you need. They might try to guess and guess wrong. Or they might be thinking from their own point of view what they would need in that situation. So if a person, air sign or not, is not responding the way that you want them to respond, tell them what you need. And if they don't give it to you, move on to someone else who will. It's pretty simple. A lot of us, I'm clear, not only do we not tell people what we need, but we deal with people who can't give us what we need and then get mad at them. It's not their fault they can't give you what you need. It's your fault for asking someone that you know can't give you what you need for what you need. Get it from someplace else. This is an abundant universe. 
abundant with people, abundant with joy, abundant with emotions. This is, I mean, just look at the world. There's so much here. But you have to go after it. So if you need something and the person that you're asking to give it to you won't or can't, go ask someone else. Okay? All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Likewise, all my information is underneath the video. So if you want a reading or if you want to contact me, if you have a question for asking Aquarius, general questions are always taken into account. Please send them to me. Okay, guys, see you later.